This is how I made the beat for the Flowers Beat Contest. My main sample for the beat was stock. I time-stretched the sample from 90 BPM to 131 BPM and went up three semitones. After that, I automated the volume of the sample to create some cool rhythms. I also automated some granular sparkles with Finisher Micro. Then I bounced the whole thing into audio. I did a lot of compression with Arvox Stereo and multiband compression with OTT. For the bass, I used my own sample pack and the 808 called Knock Out. I like to add some saturation and distortion to my 808s without the FX. Sounds kind of thin, so. For the second part, uh, I wanted the bass go up a notch, so I added a camel crusher and bounced the pattern into audio without with so even more distortion so ex exact same thing but when you bounce the audio tracks uh, I feel like you have more control so I like to do this trick for 808s if I want to make them real big, real wide. So I had the Camel Crusher on, but now I added also this Ozone Imager, and then I have this Berserk distortion. Sounds like this. Then I bounce the thing, and it's here. And I cut the lows because then the other 808 which doesn't have that much distortion or stereo widening, has more room uh, in the low end. Here's the bass part without the stereo part. And when we add it, basically you're just dropping down the octaves. You can go as high, you want, as, high as you want. When you do it, do it a bit quicker. It sounds dope. I'll try to find a few reference tracks where you can spot the same track. I think the main groove for the drums came from El Trace drum loops. This is pretty much the groove. I chopped some parts from the original samples, as you can tell. So I also time stretched the loop and pitched it down eight semitones. Yeah. And the other one is just time stretched. So if you wanna achieve this kind of crispy drum sounds, just add distortion and do some EQ EQing with the problematic frequencies. Without the distortion. And with the distortion. Here on the second part, I used the same sample I used before, but I just pitched it down one octave. I have some hi-hat patterns here as well. So for the out, outro. Outro. 
So for the outro we got this guitar thing I played. And then I added this saw kind of volume automation for it. I also made this counter melody. Yeah, there's only one oscillator here. Uh, try one. Then we have filter, we have rooted the thingy here. Cut off at 24. So if that would be opened. It would sound like that, but I like the filtered sound more. Grab a reverb to FX 201. Then pick up the LFO here. Give the size a little bit of LFO and you get the detuning kind of sound. So if you go all the way up, it sounds like terrible. But if you do it moderately, that's pretty cool actually as well. Yeah, and these automations, I have a uh, wave doubler, so it kind of goes on full wide mode from some parts and at some parts it's more in the middle. All right, we can go through the fills and little stuff here, like this reverse. Then we have these snare tail things. I showed it on my other video. I like to use these kind of random samples. And also VHS startup sound. When you pick cool parts from them and combine the things, you can get really cool feels that sound real original. You combine these three, you get that. So we have Stefan's Stefan um, clap loop, decap percussion loop as well. I think there's another one from decap as well. So also, there's this bungo thing here. So when you combine all of these I think those were the most important parts of the beat. If I missed something, let me know. Peace.